Hey coders, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me Mohammed from Mass Code Tech. And in this video, we're going to learn how to make a navigation bar using HTML and CSS. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. So guys, we're right here in Visual Studio Code and today we're going to learn how to make a navigation bar using HTML and CSS. So first things first, we're going to make an unordered list. So we could just type in UL and then press tab. And then we could just put it down a little. And the first thing we're going to make a list. So a list and then tab. And then in between the list, we're going to make an anchor tag. So to make an anchor tag, you have to type in A and then click tab or you could just write in the whole thing. So in between the quotation marks right here for the link href, we're going to type in hashtag because when you don't have a link or something, you could type in a hashtag that could be used as a link, but it doesn't really work. So it's just going to be for an example right here. And then for the text, we're going to type in home page. So we're just going to type in home and then copy this and paste it four times. So one, two, three, four. So we have it right there for four times. And then now we're going to change the second one to about us. And then the third one to videos. And then the last one to contact. So here we have it. Let's go check it out in Google. So so as you can see over here, it looks like that. When I zoom out and put it back, it's really small. So we could set it up later. So let me just zoom in for now. And then let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And the, now the next thing we're going to do is create four new pages. So we're going to create four new pages. So let me open this up. Create a new page. Contact.html. We already have contact.html. Now we're going to create con no, we already have about us. So about dot html and then we need one more so it's going to be videos dot html so videos i spelled it wrong videos dot html so we have these three links right here so we're going to change it for the hashtag so let's delete hashtag over here and type in index dot html and for the second one we're going to type in about dot html the third one we're going to type in videos.html and for the last one we're going to type in contact.html now when we go back to google and when we refresh and click on this link so as you can see up top here so when we click on home it's going to take us to the index page when we click about us it's going to take us to the about page but we don't have anything over here to go back so we're going to go back to visual studio code copy this whole thing copy go to contact.html and paste it right here so we're going to do it for videos oh what happened so we're going to do it for videos and about so let's go check it out now let's go back to google and refresh and as you can see here we're now at the about page so when we click home it's going to take us back to home about is going to take us to the about page videos is going to take us to the videos page and contact.html is going to take us to the contact page. Now we're going to go back to the home page. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. So the next thing we're going to do is go to the style.css page. And then right here, we're going to type in unordered list. So this unordered list area is for where we can decorate our unordered list. So let's do this page right here. So and then we're just going to make another one for unordered list. And then we're going to type in list. So this means that we're going to type like we're going to take the list inside the unordered list and decorate the list. So let's do that. And then the last one is going to be unordered list plus list plus anchor tag. So right here, this means that we're going to take the list inside the unordered list and then the A. So we will be decorating the A over here. So yeah. Let's get started. So over here, as you can see in Google right here in our live server, this doesn't actually look like a navigation bar. So we're just going to first remove the underlines. So to do that, you're going to do decoration, text decoration, and then none. 
that's it. You should be just going to write none. And then when you go back, as you can see, we don't have underlines anymore. Now we're going to change the text color. So color. So color. We're going to change the color to black. So color to black. We could just type in black, or you could put the number or what color you want. So we have these points right here, and we have so much padding. So we're going to go back to Visual Studio Code, and right here in the second one, unordered list and list, we're going to type in list style equals none. So what this does is it's going to take out everything that styles it so we don't have the bullet points anymore. Now we're going to go back to Visual Studio Code and create another tag. So we're going to create a tag. So star and then curly brackets. So what does star mean? Star is actually the whole, it means the, it counts the whole body. So it counts everything over here and it styles it. So now we're going to style the everything. So we're going to type in margin equals zero. So we don't have to write pixels or percentage anything because zero means zero. And then next we're going to type in padding and make it zero. And when we go back to Visual, I mean, Live Server, you can see here that it, it doesn't have any space over there. And we could click here. So as you can see right here, it doesn't really look like a, a navigation bar because navigation bar has those things, the other words next to each other. So to do that, you have to go to the style sheet and type in display, display, equals inline block and when you do that it's going to go next to each other so the next thing we're going to do is let's go to Visual Studio Code and we're going to change the text size so font size I mean font size so font size equals 15 pixels and then let's change the font family to Arial because that's the most uh, common one so let's change it to Arial and let's let the color be black so let's go over here and as you can see right here it looks really cool but we still have to center the things and now the next thing we're going to do is go to the index.html and then right here we're going to make a nav a nav tab so we could type in nav tab and then we could paste the unordered list in here the whole thing that we made for links we could just paste it in here so let's paste it in there and then there we go we have that and then now we're going to copy this to every single you made every single code you made so this one that one and there we go now we're going to go to style of css and create a nav tag so we're going to create nav and then we're going to make decorations for the nav tag so the first thing we're going to do is make the width so width equals 100% and then now we're going to make the height which is going to equal 100 pixels so guys next we're going to make a background color for this so background color is going to be let's make it white so white and then we're going to cre create a body pack, body tag because as you can see right here it doesn't really show us the navigation bar so we're going to create a body so let's make a body tag right here body tag curly brackets and then we're going to set the background color too so background color let's make it a little bit gray so hashtag e e e so we could just press enter and as you can see right here we got a kind of grayish so let's zoom back out so reset so the next thing we're going to do is make the text right here make the text right here go to the center so to make it go to the center, we're going to go to Visual Studio Code and go to the list tag and then we're going to type in line height and make it 100 pixels. So when we go back, as you can see right here, it's on center. So let's make the font size a little bit bigger. So let's make it 20 maybe. Um, yeah, 20 looks good. So we could put a more space between them, a little bit more space. So let's do that now. So go to Visual Studio Code, and now we're going to put a little bit more space between them. So to do that, we're going to so we're going to go do to the anchor text, and then we're going to type in padding because we want to pad it. 
and then tab and then we're going to type in zero for the first because we don't need the padding to go on top and the bottom because it's already centered right now we're going to make this 10 pixels so there we go we have it 10 pixels let's go back as you can see here it looks a little bit better and yeah so the next thing is if you want uh, like if you don't want to click directly on the link and you could if you want to click like on top or the bottom and it, it still takes you there so if you want to do that you go to the anchor tab and then you type in display equals block so you're going to type in block and then enter so let's put the semicolon and then let's go check it so as you can see we could put it anywhere around like on the top or the bottom and it takes us to the page so let's go back to the home page visual studio code the next thing is if you want the color to change when you hover over it you could do it by doing this so we could create another one right here and delete everything in here except for color so wait let me delete everything in here and then you make a color so you could pick any color you want I'll go with red so we're going to make color color equals red and when you do that you have to type in right here put the colon and then type in hover and there we go it's done and as you can see here it's just normal black so when you hover over it it's going to turn red and if you want guys wanted to add a logo behind this like before this home page thing you could just go there and go to the unordered list area and type in margin left so margin left and set it to 50 pixels or 60 I don't know and as you can see right here it's a little space so let's give it a little bit more space cuz let's give it some so 70 yeah that looks alright so you could put a logo right here or anything so yeah this this is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching watching this video i hope you had a great time and you learned something new make sure to like share and subscribe this video and bye i'll see you next time